$4.7 billion. That's how much money a jury awarded 22 women who claimed asbestos in Johnson & Johnson baby powder contributed to their ovarian cancer. Now, the company denies the product contains asbestos, but it says it will appeal the jury's decision. Still, it does face more lawsuits. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to a centennial woman who survived ovarian cancer and is one of 9,000 active cases. If you are using a product that potentially could kill you, stop using it. Strong words from an ovarian cancer survivor who attributes past tumors to the use of baby powder. Last summer, Nancy Wright began sensing a fullness in her abdomen and started experiencing a persistent cough. X-rays and blood work didn't show anything. So her doctor suggested a CAT scan. The CAT scan showed a huge double-fisted size mass on my left ovary. According to the pathologist's report, that cancer had spread from the ovary to her uterus, abdominal lining, and colon. Basically, it was determined that there was debris or fibers in my ovarian tissue um, consistent with what they have been finding in other women who have had ovarian cancer as a result of using baby powder for hygiene purposes. She had six rounds of chemotherapy. These are just some of my um, wigs that I was wearing when I had no hair at all. She lost her hair but didn't get sick. Still, she missed quite a bit of work. Her job was eliminated. I just don't want anything to get broken. Without a job, she can't afford rent. So she's packing up and getting ready to move from the apartment she's called home for 18 years. She's getting stronger and is now looking for a new job. A GoFundMe account has been set up to help with expenses in the interim. And she says she wants other people to know the lawsuit she's involved with is not frivolous. It may never get settled. A lot of women may die before it's settled. We don't know. But I can't not pursue this because this affected my life. And Ms. Wright says she does not want Johnson & Johnson to take the product off the shelves forever, just fix it. In an online statement, the company said it was deeply disappointed in the St. Louis verdict and noted that similar outcomes in other cases have been overturned.